Does your washing machine make this sound? Hey everybody, welcome back to the Flat Thunder channel. My name's Andy and this is a Whirlpool Cabrio washing machine and something is definitely wrong with it. We're going to tear into it today and see if we can fix it. First we're going to try to tear into this thing by opening the top. I believe all these, the top goes on last in the process, so we need to get the top control panel off and the lid so we can get down in there and see what's happening. Okay, I guess we should take the water off. Those bolts from the back side disconnected lines even though we forgot to turn the water off now we have more water on the floor that was handy uh, but now the whole cover will slide this way and I still don't 100% remember but we're gonna find out Control panel is held down with these spring clips. Once the spring clips are released, it looks like you need to get on the underside. You can slide this guy off. One plug, and this whole panel will go away. Here's your solenoid valves. This is the motherboard that controls everything. Uh, and then we have uh, like a vacuum line that helps it determine the height of the water in the system. So you need to get this whole bundle of wires that go back to the main washing cabinet off. This guy here and this guy over here. So these are all the wires aside from this ground. Got all this sweet, nasty stuff in here. Um, this is a perfect opportunity to go ahead and clean your washing machine. Uh, I'm gonna hold off on that to make sure this thing is actually salvageable. So now we need to get in here and start tearing the bottom of this tub apart. So this agitator comes off, just this protector, and then we got a bolt there. This is interesting. That's a ticket. Agitator is kind of stuck on the shaft there. It's that easy, folks. Came right off of there. Ugh. So underneath the agitator, we got the shaft that sticks through, and then there's a spanner nut there to hold the tub in. So I just have my regular hook spanner. I'm clipping it on the edge and then smacking it with a hammer. 
I'm getting it to turn. There is a special wrench for this, but I, of course, didn't buy it. Too cheap for that, and if this works, why not buy a universal tool? the tub out of the body of the washing machine it didn't work quite the way we wanted it to we were trying to get the steel drum disconnected from the drive gearbox so we can lift this out and make it a whole lot lighter and then lift out the plastic uh, liner or the tub itself through the top that's the way it was supposed to go but it's way too heavy to lift out uh, especially with this steel drum and water in there so we kind of went around the long way yeah it's out uh, we still got the drum in there. We're trying to get it out. Uh, hopefully we can disconnect the gearbox from the bottom and kind of pound it out that way. Nice. Looking at the bottom of the washing machine tub here, this is your motor and this is your gearbox underneath it. So we need to get this motor disassembled from the gearbox and try to get this beer gearbox off of the tub and out of the uh, steel drum on the inside. ring here we got to get off We're lucky we can do it without pinching the crap out of our fingers
finally. There she is. That's the inside of the tub. This model has a heater there for the steam cleaning. That's your drain. Of course, the rest of it's just gunk that's in there. It's actually not too bad. A lot of these will get completely black on this inside tub and make you not want to wash your clothes in there again. Uh, the drum itself is a little crusty. Full of water. Explains why this thing's full of water. Explains why the tub always stinks. I guess it traps it in there. I don't know if that's by design. But uh, we got our new gearbox here, right there, sitting next to our old one, and there's an immediate problem. The top output shaft that connects to the agitator is different. Um, I don't know if this is an adapter that slides on there. I doubt it. Could be though. Let's clean this up, see if we can get that off of there. Uh, but this is the new one, so yeah. If you paid attention on the disassembly process, you'll know I put a black marker here and on the old gearbox. That allows me to align the new gearbox in the correct position uh, it does have an extra hole in that area uh, for some clamps and uh, yeah wires and such we got the new one here the black line should be over here so it's going to go in like so pretty sure anyways and here's where things start to get weird the vaseline comes out all lubed up And push your own home. Perfect. Contacts are a little corroded and oxidized from being exposed to all the moisture that was leaking out of the bottom of this. I'm going to hit it with some contact cleaner and then some dielectric grease. Number, number 276, 276. Real quick overview of the components here in the bottom before we get back to putting it together. Gearbox, motor, this is going to be your drain pump to pump the water out and this is a recirculation pump over here because this is the e-steam this is the heating element having to take the cabinet way more apart than what we originally planned. This is how we wanted to take it apart. We wanted to lift the plastic drum with the motor out through the top and not have to take the back panel off and 
wrestle around with it. Uh, but we were unable to do that because we could not get the steel drum off of the gearbox and out first. So here we are. We're back kind of how it should have been when we originally took it apart. Uh, we have our basket hangers. These are basically spring-loaded guys that hold or suspend the whole mechanism inside the cabinet. So you need to get those back on there and hang it off of these uh, pieces we just bolted on. Might get interesting, but it should be a whole lot easier without that steel tub in there. This little slide. Slide that up so you have more room. Get this in the pocket. You want this to be in the hole, and then slide it back down once it's in there. Retainers go in the socket, the hook can come in one way, then you rotate it and it's locked. I lubricated the splines on the steel drum just to help it go on smoother. Um, we're ready to get this thing on there. Go ahead and put this on and see if we got any clearance issues and how much more it has to go down. All right, we got the whole thing back together. We turned the water on, we fired the power up. I don't smell anything burning and I don't hear any water running. So that's a good sign. Uh, the only thing left we need to address is this agitator. And right now I just wanna try this thing out. I wanna see if it's gonna work. Um, I think maybe what we'll do is try to purchase a new agitator, the one off the parts diagram that I purchased this uh, gearbox off of, and maybe, just maybe, that'll fit in there. If not, we'll try to have to adapt or make or do something with that old one that's all busted up. Let's turn this thing on. Let's turn this thing on, dry cycle it, see if it's gonna work. Big old rush of water came out from underneath it. Uh, that's not a good sign. Uh-oh. Why didn't you guys tell me? I forgot to hook up the hose 
for the water that comes back into the top ring here. So it's just pumping water out. Luckily, I think I can, I got the hose back on. Now I just need to get the hose clamp squeezed and slid on there. Yes, I think I got it. Push the tub down so I can get my hand in between the top lid and the top ring here. And I think I got that hose back on. Hopefully that's the only problem we have. Let's fire it back up and try it again. Ow. Hey, all right. That beep means we made it through an entire wash cycle and nothing, nothing drastically bad happened. Uh, the only thing we realized is we forgot to hook this hose up here on that top ring. Don't forget to hook that hose up if you're doing this repair. Uh, I'm extremely happy with this. I already have the new agitator on order. It's going to be here in the next couple days. Slam that in there. and We got a functioning washing machine again. Uh, Total cost and parts, the new gearbox was about $225. The new agitator ring is approximately $50. So we're looking at about $275, less our time, to repair this washing machine, which is probably $800 to $1,100. I haven't checked. But we are back in business, and I'm extremely happy. I didn't have to cart this thing up the stairs and or spend 1000 bucks on a new washing machine. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Leave your questions and comments in that section below. And don't forget to punch that subscribe button your way out. Thanks for watching, everyone.